this tonight here at Fusion and at Raw and Real. So we're just uh, excited about what we have here tonight. Yeah, happy Wednesday to you. We have some dear friends here once again. And it is uh, Derek and Jessica Gonzalez. They are some of our counseling people and part of the counseling team. And we're so glad that they're here tonight. So tonight, just uh, to let you know, we're going to kind of play off of Pastor's sermon about Abishai uh, on Sunday, but we're going to center it around marriage. And so just stay tuned for the entire thing. I think that you'll be blessed tonight. Yeah. So let's, let's pray. pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight and we are thankful for this opportunity to meet with all of our people. We pray, Father, that you're going to use it tonight in a very powerful way, Lord. You know where every person is right now, where they are in their heart and their emotions. And we just pray, God, that you would use this teaching here tonight to minister in a very special way. Father, you know where every couple is right now in their relationship. Father, you know the ones that might be feeling weary or even frustrated. Lord, you know the ones, Father, that um, are growing in you. You know the ones that feel their relationship is a bit bumpy right now. But, Father, you're the one that speaks peace. Lord, you're the one that, that says in your word that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to him and they are safe. Lord, I feel that someone tonight needs to know that they can be safe, safe in you, God. And so, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for what you're going to say tonight through the Gonzaleses, through your word, Lord, through our, our conversation tonight, the interview, God. Be glorified. Holy Spirit, rest upon us tonight, the entire evening. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 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 We are uh, going to be talking, uh, as my wife said, about Abishai. Now, uh, we have been in our hero series on mm -hmm. Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first one, we talked about Caleb. Uh, the second one, Pastor John talked about Jonathan. Two who are fairly well known uh, as far as biblical characters. But the third one that he spoke about last Sunday, Abishai, is not one that a lot of people know a lot yeah, about. Yeah, not well known. No, he's yeah. not well known. Yeah. But uh, Abishai, he was the uh, eldest son of three of uh, David's sister. Uh, he was very much of a loyal uh, follower of David. And uh, one particular account of which uh, he was in battle with 300 men, uh, that actually won him the position as uh, the uh, captain of, uh, the second three of uh, David's mighty men of valor. Mm -hmm. And then there was also another situation where uh, David was in a particular predicament and needed to be rescued. And uh, Abishai, he was the one that stepped up and said, I'll take care of that. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, lots of qualities in him to become one of David's mighty men. And those qualities, I think, is what we're going to talk about tonight. Yeah. Let me just uh, read a few scriptures from Colossians 3. And then we'll give you our talking points tonight, and then we're going to uh, let you hear from the Gonzaleses. <laughs> so Colossians 3, actually 18 through 25, you could read. I won't read every one of those verses right now, but I'm reading out of the message translation. And so verse 18 says, Wives, understand and support your husbands by submitting to them in ways that honor the master honor the master okay and then verse 19 husbands go all out in love for your wives i love that one right there <laughs> um don't take advantage of them and so we might talk about that just a little bit tonight in, in our discussion but our talking points tonight have to do with with some of the attributes of abishai and so one of the things that uh, Pastor was talking about was that Abishai was brave. Mm -hmm. He had courage. Uh, another thing was that he was very determined. He did things wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. And then one of the other points that we thought if we get to it tonight would be important um, in the area of marriage also is being loyal, a loyal servant. Mm -hmm. So actually, Derek, we're going to address the first question to you. It has to do with bravery or courage. Mm -hmm. So in the midst of COVID-19, 
and this pandemic and um, the length of it is, uh, of the length of what it is right now, and we don't have an ending date, yeah. really. We believe we're coming more to the end, praise God. Um, but um, what would you say to husbands that um, are having a hard time having courage to lead their family right now? The, we could call it bravery or courage, but I, I just might say that um, you guys uh, just have grown so much and the Lord's just been doing some amazing things upon you and through you. Yeah. And one of the things that we've seen in you, Derek, is that stepping up to lead your family right. more and more and more. And it's so touching. And and uh, But what would you say to husbands that are listening out there that maybe they're just having a hard time stepping up and stepping into it? Definitely. Well, thank you for those kind words. You made me feel good. Uh, <laughs> but I, I do want to say uh, for for husbands and fathers out there, you know, we were just discussing how at the beginning of this pandemic, at the beginning of this quarantine, um, it, it was a little easier. You know, we, we got time off of work, um, you know, and, and we were home more with the family. We were home more with the kids. It's, we were coming together. I know with uh, Jessica and the boys, it was almost like an answer prayer. You know, we had time to actually, um, you know, like I said, to come together and just to spend time together. Um, but as the days have gone on and the weeks have gone on, um, you know, that, that uneasy feeling and the walls begin to get a little closer and smaller in as we begin to feel that pressure of quarantine. Yeah. So, yes. um, you know, and it's in this time um, that we begin to, you know, draw away from that good feeling that we got in the beginning and now go into more, maybe back to anxiety, back to fear. Um, and honestly, I think this is really where, as men, as husbands and as fathers, we, like you said, Pastor, we have to step up. We have to be the ones that are gonna be that voice to our children, to our wives, and, and to that reassurance that everything's gonna be okay, and mm -hmm. that we're gonna be okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. We have to be the voice that reminds them that we need to, to see God in these moments. You know, we need to be the, the leaders of our home to step in and say, you know what, tonight we're going to pray as a family. Tonight we're going to read the word as a family because that unity is what is going to give us that reassurance. Mm -hmm. It's going to calm right. your wife's mind. Right. It's going to calm your children's mind. So I think it's super important that um, as husband and fathers that we are being that voice and that we're, we're asking God to speak through us to give comfort to our families, yeah. to give comfort to them that again, everything is going to be okay, that everything's going to be okay and that like anything else, it is in his hands. So, yeah. Yeah. I love what you said about speaking to give reassurance, which mm -hmm. brings unity. Yes. That'll preach right there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very, very true because um, as, a, as a husband, as a father, there are times when you have to bring right. everybody in, right? Yes. You're yes. saying things and you're acknowledging things and, and you do together as a husband and wife, but it's, it's so important to have that leadership. Right. And yeah. so just tagging on to that before we go to Jessica. So um, um, how did you start stepping up? What was that process for you? Well, like I, or when me and Jess, what we did, we decided that we wanted to bring, come together more and, uh, and start, like one thing was sermon night. Where we got together and um, it was me, Jess, and Isaiah, and we all wrote just a quick message and then presented it to to you know the, the other family, two. So yeah. for those that have you know, Isaiah is your son. Yes. Oh, the son. He is yeah. uh, how old? He's seventeen. He's gonna be eighteen actually this month. So yeah. Yeah. our little adult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but just doing something like that, coming together and again, um, you know, family game night or watch a movie together, things yeah. like that. Where again. As, as we go further into this quarantine, we right away want to isolate ourselves. We yeah. want to right away want to give into that fear, into that anxiety. Um, but like I said, we have to come together as a family and, and, and deal with things straight on, discuss what we're feeling, discuss what we're going through, mm -hmm. um, just to again, bring that reassurance to, to remind them that we're in this together. We're in this yeah. together as a family unit and we're gonna yeah. get through it together. So yeah, we're, you know, just, I'm sorry, right. honey. Um, I was just thinking of verse 21, and it says, Parents, don't come down too hard on your children, 
or you'll crush their spirit. Right. And it's um, that balance of knowing how much to come yeah. down on them, so to speak, what kind of discipline, and, and to lead that way, too, is yeah. very, very important. And just on that note, really quick, I, I want to say, um, you know, during this time, to always make sure that you are putting yourself in the shoes of your spouse, in the shoes of your children, because they're going through all this in a different way than you are. Right? Yeah. Um, and I know that how I'm dealing with it, how I'm processing all these new feelings, maybe isn't the way Jessica is, or maybe isn't yeah. the way Isaiah or my other two boys are. So yeah. it's always good to just make sure that you're trying to look at it from their perspective, because even with me and Jessica, we forget sometimes that we're not thinking like Isaiah. We're not thinking like a 17-year-old who is distraught because he's missing school, he's missing his friends, he's missing yeah. his sports. Their whole you know? life is exactly. turned upside down, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah, somebody else said that to me today. Yeah. yeah. You started asking yeah, questions. Yeah, uh, no, the calm assurance is what is what we're looking for, right? Yes. And, and you, you said it so well, Mary. We as husbands, as men, we have that opportunity to assure of that assured uh, confidence there. And that only comes through the word. Yes. Because, you know, again, if we're listening to the news and everything that we're hearing all the time, and there's so much talk about that, it seems like that's all people are talking right. about right now. And so for to bring it back full circle, to bring it back to God's word, and to just reassure it, we're going to get through this. Yeah. 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 We're going yeah. to get through this. Exactly. Just to bring that peace in the heart. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jessica, I wanted to go to the second talking point for you, and, and that is Abishai's determination and the fact that he did things wholeheartedly, yeah. really wholeheartedly. <laughs> and so um, just thinking of wives and, you know, the scripture, it says, wives understand and support your husbands. Let's just take that part. So in having determination and doing things wholeheartedly, let's kind of connect those dots. And, and what, what would you say about that as being a wife? Um, if I can be honest, it's it's one of the things I struggle with the most. Um, being a single mom for so long, I was used to being the you know the the person of authority, the the voice that that made the last call, you know, like yeah. called the shots. Sure. So that's that's something I really really struggled with. Um, but I <laughs> I realized I remember something that. some kind of order 
order in our home. I mean, we're still kind of a little bit of a hot mess, but you know, but at least we're all a work in progress. Right? <laughs> yeah, but at least I know that I'm putting my trust in the Son of God, and I know that He's doing everything in His power to make sure that we are okay. That's awesome, and so you can do that.
going to pray in a minute, but I, I do feel like that there are people out there um, that uh, maybe it's in, uh, they're a blended family and they came into the relationship and there was still a few wounds, like residue of wounds or maybe a lot mm -hmm. of woundedness and they're just walking their life out with Christ and they're learning all these new things and oh my goodness, now I'm supposed to submit and surrender. <laughs> I want to put my boxing gloves on. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but the Lord knows. The Lord knows. Yeah. So maybe just at this point, you guys could just pray over couples, men and women, and, and just as you feel led in that area. Okay? Can I share something? Yes. Yes. I, I just really felt it in my heart. Um, this, this actually, uh, Pastor's message on Sunday. Um, what he said about Abishai, um, you know, that he was by David, you know, by David, with David, and, and yes. had his back, you yes. know, a loyal servant. A loyal yes. servant. Yes. And I love that um, it wasn't so much that Abishai had to go in and take care of the, you know, the enemy, Saul, or, you know, take him down. It wasn't about that. It was that David wanted someone by his side, you know, his loyal servant. And I, you know, I was thinking about that, you know, and I was like, Lord, Derek is like my Abishai, because I, I really do things like, there's been really hard times in my life that I've dealt with and recently, you know, just with some sickness that I've been dealing with, and, you know, I just remember one night just breaking down and him, you know, writing out a prayer for me and, and reading it to me, mm -hmm. and I think, you know, it wasn't that I needed him to go out and figure out what was wrong with me, I didn't need for him to fix me, I just needed him to be by my side. And he did that all on his own, you know, and, and I thought, Lord, wow, like, this is, this is the power of surrender. Yes. This is the power of tearing down those walls and, and opening that pathway for your spouse to come in and just yes. be by your side. Because yeah. before, I couldn't have done that. I would have, mm -hmm. I would have just sucked it up. I would have never told him what I was going through, but I said, no, like, I can't do this alone. And he was my Abishai. He didn't come and try to fix me. Yeah. He he just stood by me and he prayed for me and he fought he fought it with me and, and you know on his knees, not yeah. not with mm -hmm. actions. It, you yeah. know, it was just very different. So. Thank you so much for sharing that because that was for a lot of people right there. And one of the things that we long for in our relationships are emotional intimacy. Mm -hmm. And it and what we need in order to actually have that is to be emotionally vulnerable. And if we've had hurts in the past, for us to open ourselves up that way is, is not easy. And so um, you guys go ahead and pray as you feel. Maybe you could cover some of those things that you talked about. Thanks. Father God, I just come before you, Father, and just thank you for this moment, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for being able to sit right here next to, next to my wife, Lord, the one person that you have gifted me, Lord, that is by my side, Lord, that is with me through the thick and through the thin and, and through it all, Father. Yes. And I just pray, Lord Jesus, for the marriages, the couples, the relationships, the individuals, everyone that's just watching this right now, Father, that and all the families, Lord, all the, all the families of this community, of this nation, Father, that, that you're just with them, Lord Jesus. I just feel it so heavy on my heart that the, the pain that people are going through, Father, that what we spoke of, how this quarantine, Lord, and this pandemic, Lord, is, is really starting to just wear people down, Lord, to wear down marriages, Lord, wear down relationships between children and parents, Father. And, and I just ask, Lord Jesus, that you stand in between that, yes, Father, that yes. you come to us, Lord Jesus, that you just care for us, Father, that you hold us in your arms, Lord Jesus, and that you give us the reassurance that this will pass, and that we remember, Father, that we need to be still, because you are God, and that you are with us, Father. So, Lord, I just pray, Lord, I pray that you are able to just mend broken hearts, Father, that you are able to just come into marriages, Father, into homes, and just heal, Lord, miraculously begin to heal marriages, Father. We always speak of walls that need to be breaking, broken down, Father, and I just ask, Lord, that you take your mighty hand and just crush those walls, Father. In the name of Jesus, you crush those walls. Let them come to the ground, Father, so that 
people's people's emotions and people's thoughts and people's feelings can be expressed to one another, Father, that we can begin to heal, Lord Jesus, heal through conversations, Lord, heal through digging up the past and just and being vulnerable to one another, to just be able to speak it out, Lord, and, and, and whatever that may come to those conversations, Father, that we just pray that you're just preparing hearts, Lord, that you're just opening hearts, Lord, to, to be to have grace like Jesus, Lord, to have forgiveness like Jesus, Lord. So let those conversations happen tonight, Lord Jesus. After this, after they watch this, Lord Father, let those conversations just take place, Father. Let marriages just come together, Father, and let wounds begin to heal, Lord Father. Let families come together, Father, and let those wounds begin to heal, Father. If we haven't already during this time that you've given us, Lord, this time of rest and this pandemic and this quarantine, Father, may it start now, Father, while it's not too late, Lord Jesus, that we can have a time to come together and begin to, to settle what needs to be settled, to discuss what needs to be discussed before we have to go back out. Let us go back out stronger, Lord. Let our faith be strong, Father. I, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you grow our faith, uh, our faith exponentially during this pandemic, Father. Amen. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this opportunity. I thank you for this time. And I just thank you for the gift of my wife, Lord Father. Oh, in Jesus' name. Father God, I just, I just feel it in my heart. Lord, just to pray for your daughters specifically, Father. Lord, I just feel like that some of us are carrying the, the heart of Sarah. Lord, that that doubt, that if that promise is never going to happen for them, that that questioning, mm -hmm. that jumping to conclusions, the wanting to, to figure it out on their own. Lord, but Father, you don't lie, Lord. The promises yeah. that you've placed in your daughter's hearts, Lord, they're not lies, Father God. I pray that your daughters can surrender. Lord, we're, we're not, we are not created to carry all that load on our own, Lord. If you have a spouse by you, Lord, I just pray, Father God, that you can show her to unload it, not just to the cross, Lord, but to trust her husband also, to have a trusting heart, that some of those things he can help. He can come by her side and and be the walk with her, be the leader that, that you called him to be, Father God. So Lord, I just pray, I pray, Lord, for your daughters, for your daughters to surrender, for your daughters to just open their hearts to heal. Yes. Lord, if there's any trauma, if there's any abuse, Lord, sexual abuse, Lord, mm -hmm. a verbal abuse, emotional abuse, or physical abuse, Father God, all those wounds. Lord, you've taken them to the cross, Father God. And I believe, Lord, I believe that you want to show your miracles, Lord, in ways that they've never been shown, Father God. Mm. So, Lord, I just pray for your daughters, Lord. Hold them, Lord. It's not an easy process, Father God. So, Lord, just send the Holy Spirit there in their home just so they can feel peace, Lord. Peace and surrender, and they can set their trust on you, Lord. Nobody else but you, Lord, and you'll start opening their eyes to healing, Lord, that they never thought they would experience, Father God. So, yeah, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, because you are the way maker, Lord. You're the miracle worker, Lord. You make a way in, in, in wilderness, Father God, and in, in dryness, Lord. You you have gardens for us, Father God. And so, Lord, I just, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what you've done in me, Lord, and I can share here, Father God. But I'm sharing not not to to say, whoa, our life is so great. I'm sharing because I know we can do it in your life too. Right. And I know, Father God, that you're not done with just our family, Lord. You're you have so much more in, in other families that are watching here, Father God. Yes. Again, we thank you, Lord. We just put our trust in you, Father. We pray for our leaders, Lord. We thank you for this ministry, for our pastors, for Pastor Gwen and Arnold, Lord. We just thank you for their hearts, Father God. We ask that you continue to bless them and anoint them, Father God. And Lord, I, I'm just so grateful to be able to be here and just share our testimony, Lord, and to give you the glory for everything that you've done yes. in our family, Father God. And I believe you're, you're, you're doing it in many other families. Yes. Again, we thank you, Father God, and we just praise you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you. Oh, my. Wow. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. We just pray that you would receive Amen. the prayer that both Derek and Jessica prayed, um, and they prayed over many things, and go back and watch it, and re-watch it, and hear, and listen, and absorb.
sure what what God wants to do in your heart. I am blessed tonight, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're so, so happy to have you. Yeah, yeah. And thank you for being with us tonight as well. God bless you. Have a wonderful balance of your week. Yes.